Welcome to Pickleball Den, the technology powering the sport. In this video, we'll be reviewing our tournament simulator. Pickleball Den's tournament simulator is a great tool to help tournament directors refine their bracket start times and maximize the courts available for their tournament. To run the tournament simulator for your tournament, you'll want to log into the Pickleball Den app and navigate to your tournament menu. From the menu, click Manage and then Simulator. The tournament simulator can be run at any time. It can be run before players begin registering, in the middle of the registration process, or closer to when registration closes. Pickleball Den imports the tournament start time that you entered in your tournament settings. It lists the same time as the simulator start time. The simulator also shows the number of teams who have registered for each bracket so far. If you're running the simulator at the beginning of the registration process, these numbers may read zero. You will need to manually enter the simulator team count by clicking edit and then entering the number of teams you would like to simulate. If the tournament team count reads zero, you'll need to enter the approximate number of teams that you anticipate will register for this bracket. When editing this setting, you can also edit the simulator start time. We recommend running this first bracket individually and then adding additional brackets to the simulator. Using the simulator in this way can help you to better determine which brackets are overusing your court space or that may be causing additional wait time for players. Once you've entered the simulator team count for the first bracket, you can click Save. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page until you find the Start Simulator button. Once the simulator is finished, you can see the available courts and the courts in use. For this tournament, there are four available courts. This first bracket is only utilizing half of the courts available. If you scroll down further to the bottom of the page, you can also see the average and the longest wait time players will experience. We can now scroll back up to the brackets and add a second bracket to the simulator. The second bracket shown has nine total teams registered so far. This will most likely be too many teams and will overuse the courts, creating a longer wait time for players. Either the four-team bracket or the six-team bracket listed below would most likely be a better fit to add to the 8 a.m. start time. For this example, we'll try the bracket with six registered teams. And we'll change the start time of this bracket to 8 a.m. We can now scroll down to the bottom of the page again and start the simulator. When adding these changes to the simulator, it will not change the settings within your tournament. Once the simulator has finished, we can scroll down to review the available courts. As you can see, the courts are being better utilized when we added the second bracket to the 8 a.m. start time. The average wait time for players is 5 minutes, with the longest wait time being 21 minutes. Now that we've adjusted the brackets at the 8 a.m. start time, we can look at the simulator report to determine what time the next bracket should begin. It looks like the brackets are beginning to finish around 10 a.m. You can then scroll back to the top of the page and find the next bracket that you'd like to add. We'll add the 9 team bracket at a 10 a.m. start time. Then once again scroll down until you find the black Start Simulator button. You can repeat this process as many times as you'd like to refine the bracket start times for your tournament. One other feature of the Tournament Simulator we'd like to note is the Reset All option. This option resets the Tournament Simulator and allows Pickleball Den to import the most recent information for your tournament. For example, if you ran the tournament simulator prior to players registering, the estimates you entered for the simulator team count may not be up to date. When running the simulator again in the middle or closer to the end of the registration process, resetting this data pulls the current number of teams registered into the simulator. To reset the simulator data, you can click the green Reset All link and then click Yes to confirm. You can also click the green Remove Counts link in order to remove all of the simulator team counts for each of the brackets in the tournament simulator. Click Yes to confirm. 
As you can see, each of the simulator team counts has now been defaulted back to zero. We hope you enjoy using Pickleball Den's Tournament Simulator to help you refine your bracket start times and maximize the courts available for your tournament.